Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a very old way to keep your green tomatoes. Now this isn't canning, this is no preserving. This is like having it in a root cellar. These are green tomatoes and I can ripen these over the winter time and you can have fresh tomatoes all year round. It's from the 1900s. Today we're going to take some replica newspaper. This is very old looking newspaper. Now this is not the real newspaper but it's to look really old. We're going to use this and we're going to do the time honored tradition of wrapping the green tomatoes in paper and they are going to slowly turn red all through the winter time. Now you have to use tomatoes that don't have blemishes. Let's go ahead and let's harvest the tomatoes and then I'll show you how we preserve them in a way that can keep them all winter long. All right, so we have to pull off all the green tomatoes. They cannot have any blemishes on them. All right, let's see if we can find the nicest ones. All right, that one has a hole in it. We cannot use that one. So we have to find nice ones. If we want to preserve these and have them become ripe in the winter time. All right, we're gonna keep looking and I'm going to pick all of them that I can find. All right, these are perfect. So the Roma tomatoes work the best. So we're gonna go ahead and this harvest as many of these Roma tomatoes as we can. Because the Roma tomatoes do not have any blemishes on them. All right, everyone. So now we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna cut these papers in half because they're very large. We don't need such a large piece of paper, but these are gorgeous. These are replicas of the vintage newspapers and the Berlin Wall Falls, and it's all kinds of neat advertisements. And this would have been from, this was a replica of the American Times from November 19th, 1989. And so this is what we're gonna to use to wrap our tomatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them in half, then I'll meet you outside and I'll show you how we do it. Now this will only work for green tomatoes. We have this bucket of tomatoes and what's gonna happen through the weeks, these are gonna to start to ripen red. Now I was not sure if I remembered right, if we take the green tops off or not, but I don't think we do. I think we leave the green tops on. You wanna to get tomatoes that really don't have hardly any blemishes. Do not wash them. It's really important that you don't wash your tomatoes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tomato and take a newspaper. It has to be newspaper, any kind of newspaper. And we're gonna wrap them in the newspaper really gently, just like that. All right, let's go ahead. Let's take all the tomatoes out of the bucket right here. All right, so we have the tomatoes out of the bucket. Now we're gonna wrap each tomato and put them in the bucket. So what you wanna do, so what you wanna do is you wanna store it in an unheated room. So you don't wanna have heat in your room, but it cannot get below freezing. The whole idea of doing this is once we have frost, the tomatoes are ruined. So you need to do this before you have a frost. We're gonna go ahead and wrap every single one of them. Now I store these in my out porch. I store them where I have my onions. I store them where I have my potatoes. The out porch is a very damp room. So in other words, it has a lot of draft. 
so it's not in a room that doesn't get oxygen. This is a very old fashioned trick and the Amish use it today. So all we're doing is we're wrapping each one individually and we're laying them on top of each other. And then once a week, you just check the top ones and see if they start to turn red. And once they turn red, then you can start eating them. Now the bigger the tomato, the longer it will take for it to turn red. Once you start seeing the pink of the tomato, you can take them out of the paper and then put them on your windowsill. This is a wonderful way of keeping those tomatoes fresh so much longer. These are things that our ancestors knew in the Great Depression. These are things that were taught many years ago, but it's a tradition that's being lost with modern society. And I don't know about you, but the grocery store is way too expensive for those tomatoes that are chemically processed. So what they do with a lot of the fruit that you buy in the store today, they spray it with something to get it to mature. They pick it when it's green and then they spray it with a chemical and that's what's going to get it to the perfect ripeness and then it stays that way. Produce is not intended to stay on the shelf for a long, long time. But if you do the old fashioned ways, you're gonna have your organic vegetables a whole lot longer. It's a simple project very fun, very rewarding. And I'll show you, I'll show you here coming up as time goes on these tomatoes and how we can have them fresh today. All right, I'm gonna take a few moments to answer a few questions I'm sure you're having after watching this video. So this is what they look like, and now they will last me a long time, probably two to three months. Now, here's the questions. Why newspaper? You have to have newspaper because newspaper will let your tomatoes breathe. So plastic is the worst thing. Plastic is worse. You don't want to store your tomatoes in plastic. You can do it in a tin like this, or even a wooden box is the most preferable. Paper. You have to have it in paper because paper will help your tomatoes breathe. Each tomato has to be separately put in a paper. That way, if one rots, it's not going to affect the other ones. You want to make sure that they don't have any kind of blemishes on them because blemishes will make them rot. You want to store them in a cool, dark place. And this is what they look like, and I hope you give it a try. It's a time-honored tradition. It's something that our ancestors did because you know what? They couldn't waste food. You know, their food had to last them all winter long and they couldn't let food just go in the garden and go to nothing. So every little bit they used. And so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be sharing with you all kinds of neat tips and tricks that are very vintage and very old fashioned that we need to bring back today. Well, thank you everyone for watching this video. Time snuck up on me. This video was actually videotaped on October the 20th. And I really want to share with you what my final harvest was. And so that is going to be in a video coming up this week too. And then after that, my videos are very current. It's just, it seems like I have so much content and so little time. But these are things I really want to teach you and share with you. And if you can't imply them on this year, you will be able to use them next year. As the grocery stores are getting harder and harder to buy things and to be able to afford them, I want to show you ways that you can take care of your own home and that way you can have food stored very long and you don't have to rely on the grocery store quite so much. Even if you don't garden, everything in my videos you can apply in your own life situation. If you go to a food bank or a food pantry and you ever see green tomatoes, most people will pass them by, but this is one thing you can do. So keep your eyes open for any kind of sale or discount groceries or the food pantry or the food bank and 
you will be blessed and you will find ways to keep your food much longer. This was the last of my tomatoes. The frost is here now and I hope that you learned something in today's educational video. See you again tomorrow, everyone.